family, what's good? Rebels, what's up? It's your boy CJ McGill back with another video for you today. Rebels, if you haven't done so already, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Matt the Rebel. For Twitter, guys, just put an underscore at the end of the name. Links will be down in the description below of the video. Also, Rebels, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, man. Make sure you check out some of the other videos that we have on the channel here in Rebel Gang. Make sure that you are caught up on everything that we are talking about so you don't feel like you're left behind or out of the loop, all right? So, Rebels, with that being said, man, I just wanted to come through today, guys, and give you guys another episode of Rebel Talk. For those of you who do not know what Rebel Talk is, it is just a series that's on my channel, guys, where we don't necessarily do an unboxing, where we don't necessarily have a hype sneaker to talk about or anything like that. It's just us as sneakerheads, knowledge enthusiasts, people who just love the culture, just coming together, having a discussion, and doing a little bit of talking. Do have a podcast coming out soon centered around that guy so be on the lookout for that but there's something i needed to say guys so if you are like me there are some people in the sneaker game who are oblivious to anything sneaker related and one thing i want to get off my chest is that yes it is a beautiful thing guys to have the the limited jordan yeah i want the jordan one yeah i want that limited yeezy 700 yeah i want that limited sb yes i want travis's shoe i want virgil's shoe i want jerry's shoe of course that is the culture when it comes to the sneaker culture that is the baseline the sneaker itself i get it but there are some times where i'm just like you have to know your knowledge and i think i touched on this a little bit in one of my previous videos when it comes to just knowing sneakers in general there are some people who are just like oblivious to what's going on in the sneaker world which is cool i get it you don't care about the knowledge or the history of a shoe or the story behind a shoe like some people do i know me being a i'm gonna call myself a mid generation uh, sneakerhead, a mid-generation old head, I should say. I'm not like 12 or 13 like some of these young cats out here who are just buying up everything that Travis puts out or buying up everything that Kanye puts out. I feel like I'm at that point now in my sneaker journey where my taste in sneakers and my thirst for sneaker knowledge is really heightened, okay? And so I wanted to take this episode, guys, and talk about the knowledge aspect of the sneaker culture, okay? And for those people who are out there like they don't really care about sneaker culture, they don't really care about the history. They just want to put the shoe on their foot and keep it moving. Guys, I'm, I get it. That's part of the culture. But this episode is not geared towards that. So if you're here for a dope review, an unboxing or something like that, just go ahead and, you know, check out another video on the channel. You know, I just did an unboxing of the, the Nike Air Raid Ray Guns, which I will post right here. Um, I also have a series called Grail Check where I talk about my Kobe 5 Bruce Lee pickup, as well as some other reviews, guys, like the 700 Clay Browns and the Stussy Air Force Ones. All of that's on the channel. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notifications and go check those out. So Rebels today, when it comes to sneaker knowledge, it is so important to pick up the pieces of knowledge that the people who are really running the sneaker game or the people who have such a high influence in the sneaker game are putting out. So me personally, guys, I had to go pick up this right here. Something's off. Now, this is the book by Virgil and his team um, where he literally, guys, like if you don't have this book, go get it. I know it's 70 bucks. I th I'm sure it's sold out on Nike right now, but you could probably go get it under retail or right above retail on StockX. Go get this book, guys. If you have ever wanted to know what goes through the minds of someone who is so influential in the sneaker game, guys, it Virgil put it in the book. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm not going to really give a whole bunch of details on what's in the book because I really feel as though you should have this book yourself and dive into this knowledge yourself. But all of the pictures that are in the book, guys, all of the details on how he put together and how he did the the materials for the Nike S for the for his off-white blazer. All of that is in here. Why he chose the midsoles, why he chose the inner soles, how he wanted it done, why the signs are distressed, why the swooshes are distressed. All the, guys, there are so many dope images and dope pieces of content in this book that I had to talk about it, okay? So I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of pictures. Now we already know, we already know what that picture on the, over here is, all right? That is the OG, or is that a black toe? No, that is a, that is the OG Jordan Chicago, all right, Chicago one right here. And then next to that is Virgil's rendition of the Air Jordan one in its UNC colorway. That's his off-white Jordan one right here, all right? Now, why is that, why are these pictures a little significant? Because it shows 
shows you a side-by-side -side look of a traditional OG Jordan that Mike himself wore versus a reimagined but yet broken down but yet detailed and descriptive rendition of that shoe. You know, the sketches that are in here, guys, the flight suits, like everything that went through Virgil's mind when he was, when him and Off-White were crafting these shoes, it's, it's phenomenal, okay? I must say, this is by far one of the most detailed books that you will ever get and I don't see someone who is who has the mind of Virgil I don't really see them letting this information out like that so it's definitely worth the $70 price tag I think with tax I think I pay like 70 76 bucks for mine guys I'm gonna be honest I'm not I'm not mad about this purchase at all there are some samples in here that Virgil I guess he's working on or he used to work on if Virgil drops some of the heat that is in this book guys he will officially take over the sneaker game I'm sorry I'm sorry like it would be it would be over before it even started in my opinion and it, it just wouldn't even be close okay but I love how he breaks down everything every piece um, all of his um, interactions between him um, you know people like Troy Patterson and people like you know Nicholas Schomburger a whole, a whole lot of people who have influence in the sneaker game are in this book guys so I definitely recommend it definitely go check it out um, one more piece I'm going to show you from this book is actually the aesthetic I was actually talking about earlier in the video where where he's showing color and material specifications for the Nike blazer all right his his off-white Nike blazer okay so you already see on on this side you see the Nike blazer right here that's the one we all wanted actually that's a mock-up okay that's not the one that actually dropped but here guys is where you actually get an in-depth look at to the materials and why he chose what he chose so Rebels, listen, if you're a rebel out there, man, who ever wanted to know the world, one of the world's most well-known designers, sneaker enthusiasts, sneaker aficionados, if you wanted to know what was in his brain while he was making some of the most sought after shoes of our lifetime, get the book. Now, I'm not being sponsored by Nike to share this. I'm not sponsored by Off-White, Virgil, or anybody like that. Now, in the future, it would be pretty dope. So you guys, of course, keep a lookout for your boy. I'm not sure if it'll ever happen, but hey, why not, man? I say, let's go for it but the icons book guys go pick this book up you won't regret it you'll love it i promise you this has been an episode of rebel talk guys like i said no crazy hype sneaker unboxing no crazy hype sneaker this that and the third just make sure you guys get the book okay there's a ton of knowledge in here and actually it even walks you through the off-white uh jordan ones the off-white fives but yeah rebels it's your boy cj mcgill man checking out with another video in the comment section below let me know what you think were you guys able to check out the book have you read it all the way through are you inspired now to actually go out and just create shit on your own i think that's one thing i took away from this book is that no matter what canvas you get you can make it your own and no matter what happens with that canvas at the end of the day you can truly make something in your own image and that's one thing i love about the something's off the icons book the with the the check that was supposed to be the nike look like guys this, this book is just really dope i definitely recommend it make sure guys you follow me on instagram and twitter at Mac the Rebel. That's M A C T H E Rebel for Twitter. Just put an underscore at the end of the name. And Rebels, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like this video, comment on it, and let me know what you think about the Icons book. Were you able to pick it up? Are you going to pick it up? Or do you just flat out not care? Either way, just let me know what you think. So, Rebels, thank you for checking out another episode of Rebel Talk. It's your boy CJ McGill, man. I'm checking out with another one. I'll see you in the next one, and we out. Peace.